Hi Church, welcome back to our devotions for this week where we are looking at a Barmy story in the Bible and we are in Numbers 22. My name is Lola, I'm part of the pastoral team at Central Manchester. So we've got now to the part of the story where the main character enters the show and the main character that makes this a Barmy story and that is the talking donkey. Now, um, you probably have to go back and listen to the other um, videos if you haven't already to see where this all fits in. But now where we are is we have Balaam is on the way now and he is responding to the request of King Balak who wants him to come and curse the Israelites. And what we see is that God had actually initially said that you can go, but you must make sure that you say only what I ask you to say. But what we understand is that God knows Balaam's heart and that his heart is not right, that he is actually interested or swayed um, or swayable to curse the Israelites and that he is interested in the, um, the reward which is on offer from the king. So God is angry with him, with him and while he's on the way, God sends an angel of the Lord and this angel of the Lord is sent to oppose him, not only to oppose him, but actually to destroy him, to kill him. And the angel of the Lord appears in the road and he and has a sword drawn ready to destroy Balaam. And what we see in the story is that God opens the eyes of the donkey so the donkey can see the angel, but Balaam cannot. And as they're going along the road, the donkey swerves three specific times to avoid this angel who is there with a sword. Balaam beats the donkey. And by the third time, God opens the mouth of the donkey and the donkey starts to speak. And the donkey says to Balaam, Why, what have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? And Balaam is angry. He's like, you've made a fool out of me. And actually, if I had a sword, I would kill you right now. And what we see here is that there is a miracle that is happening that happens right under Balaam's nose. His donkey, who he's been riding all of this time, and he understands that, you know, and suddenly his donkey is speaking to him. You know, this is a miracle. This defies uh, all the laws of nature's of nature. Donkeys do not speak and hold conversations with humans. But Balaam completely brushes over this. He doesn't even acknowledge it. He's not shocked. He is very consumed about his own position, his own pride and his own mission. And he um, threatens the donkey. And what we see is that then um, God actually then opens Balaam's eyes also so that he can see what the donkey has been seeing all this time. And then Balaam realises that actually there is an angel of the Lord there who has a sword and was going to kill him. So Balaam um, bows down and the angel of the Lord tells him, you know, he, ch he challenges like, why did you beat the donkey? And actually he tells him that this donkey actually saved your life. Because if this donkey had not swerved off path these three times to avoid me, I would have killed you by now. So what do we take out of this part of the story? And what we understand is that number one, there are many times that God does a miracle in our lives. And actually what we do is the same as Balaam does. We just brush over it. A donkey's talking, I don't care. I'm going to cur I'm going to complain to the donkey and even threaten it. And sometimes God does miracles in our lives which don't look like the miracles that we expect or in a way that we expect to see it. Sometimes it may look actually like a closed door and it it's a, and it might look, you know, a situation that God uses to protect us. And to us, we um, are a situation and we feel that actually, that our life has gone off track or that we're not on the track that we wanted. We're not on the timeline that we wanted. 
but behind that is God and God is protecting us and steering us clear um, of danger. So that is all that we have time for today. Um, let's be a people that acknowledges when God does miracles in our lives um, and come back tomorrow where we'll have a look at more of the story.